Hey there, Athletics family. It's Matt Lynch here, and welcome to the first episode of Ats TV for 2021. We're one short day away from the first event of the Coles Summer Super Series with so many amazing athletes heading towards our nation's capital. Before we do, let's have a quick recap of the season so far. The Australian Summer of Athletics started late this year, but with a bang, it's at a Peck 10. Brett Robinson was crowned national champion of the 10,000 metres for the first time since 2014, but it was 21-year-old Rose Davies that stunned crowds with a win, beating a class field en route to a time of 31, 39, 97. At that same event, we saw Jared Clifford break the T12 world record for the 1500 metres, clocking 3.42.97 to lower his PB to the delight of the Box Hill crowd. 2021 is still young, but we've been blessed with so many qualifiers and outstanding Australian performances, including Liz Clay becoming the second fastest Australian 100 metre hurdler in history with an Olympic qualifier of 12.72 at the ACT Champs, while over in WA, Nina Kennedy and Curtis Marshall continue to impress, consistently soaring over the Olympic qualifier. The Coles Summer Super Series meet in Canberra is going to be a hot one. While we can't host internationals this year, there's incredible depth in Aussie athletics right now and it's going to be all happening this Thursday night in the ACT. A limited amount of tickets is available to the event online only, so make sure you get your tickets now. If you're outside of Canberra, you can tune in on Athletics Australia's YouTube and Facebook to the live stream. The men's 800 will see reigning national champ Peter Boll run his first 800 metres of the season after running a strong 1500 metres in January, PBing at the Zatapec 10. Dual Olympian Jeff Risley will also toe the line in Canberra. He was the one who took out the win in Zatapec over the eight. They'll also be up against youngster Jack Lunn, who leapt onto the scene last year with some gutsy runs at the Classics. Also, keep an eye out for local junior Tom Palfrey, who stunned a class field at the ACT Champs to snatch gold. The women's 800 metres will see a rematch between Australian record holder Katrina Bissett and Canberra's own Keely Small, after Small narrowly defeated Bissett at last week's ACT Champs. 1500 metre champion Lyndon Hall will step down in distance to test herself over the two laps and the race will also feature Brittany Khan who's already clocked a 204.13 this season which should place her at the pointy end of the field. The men's and women's high jumps will be events to watch this Thursday night. All eyes will be on Nicola McDermott who will return to jumping after a successful European campaign in 2020. McDermott cleared 198 in Germany to set a new PB edging ever closer to Eleanor Patterson's Oceania record of 199. In the men's high jump, it'll be Brandon Stark as a headline act, spending the last year honing his craft. His prominence as one of the world's leading high jumpers makes him a major draw card at the Coles Summer Super Series, but he'll be up against training partner Italy's Marco Fascinotti and Victorian Joel Baden, who will definitely put Stark through his paces. The cream of the crop of current Paralympic talent are all set to do battle in Canberra with some of the nation's best wheelchair racers lining up on the fastest track in the country. World champion Madison Di Rosario will take on Angie Ballard and Eliza Alt-Connell in the 800 metres, while the men's Para 100 is also shaping up to be a hotly contested battle with the likes of James Turner and Chad Perris out for glory. Let's not forget the able-bodied 100s, which are sure to be a crowd pleaser. Jack Hale and Hannah Bassick, the favourites, both looking to rewrite their PBs and score some of those precious world rankings points. We sat down with Jack ahead of this Thursday night. One, just executing a start in a race environment because my my 60 at that race la, at state chance was about 684, I think, and in relative terms to what I can produce, that's shocking. So for us, the, if we're talking uh, sort of subjective goals, it's going to be one, two, just nail that start, um, sort of going through 40, 50 metres, but then an objective sort of goal will be 10-1. For me, I'll be pumped with that to sort of throw it out there, first first 10 one of the year, and then obviously the ball just keeps rolling on from there. Off the track this week, a selection of Australia's athletes visited their local little athletic centre as part of the inaugural Coles Community Round, a great initiative for the next generation of talent to learn from Australia's leading athletes. Paralympian Eliza O'Connell visited Aubrey Little Athletic Centre in New South Wales, and it's safe to say the visit went down a tree. Uh, it was so incredibly exciting to be a part of the Coles community round uh, on the weekend just to you know get amongst the athletics community and you know have a look at what's happening within my local area uh, being able to see the kids you know they were all dressed up in in red and white for, for Coles and you know it was just so exciting they were so excited to have someone come into their club that you know, has represented Australia in athletics. So, you know, for them, it also meant a lot, but for me to, you know, get back into the grassroots of the sport where I actually began um, was incredibly important and exciting too. 
Well, there you have it. It's going to be an action-packed summer of athletics, all pointing towards the 2021 Australian Track and Field Championships and, of course, the Tokyo Olympic and Paralympic Games. Come and join us for the Coles Summer Super Series at the AIS or from the comfort of your own home for the live stream, which will be broadcast on Athletics Australia's YouTube and Facebook channels. See you there.